Hola, Blabanitos! How are you guys? I hope that you had a spectacular, spectacular weekend and that all of you mothers had a wonderful Mother's Day. You deserve it. So, in this video, I would like to go over a question that somebody asked me. Why are movies so hard for me to understand in English? I got to thinking and I thought this would be a great video to make. Let's begin. Remember that there may be different accents in each movie. There are actors who make it big in Hollywood who still have a pretty thick accent, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. When native speakers speak in movies, they are not speaking like I am in these videos. I, first of all, am not a very fast speaker to begin with, and I try to enunciate my words clearly, but other speakers, as you may have already noticed, will speak much more relaxed or lazy. You may also notice that native speakers run their words together, as you probably do in your own language. I have given some examples of this in previous videos, but Let's take a look at a few. What have you been doing today? How we would pronounce this would not be what have you been doing today? We would actually pronounce it like what have you been doing today? What have you been doing today? What have you been doing today? Shortening sounds like this helps the language flow and helps us to speak faster. The reason you are not understanding is that you would have learned it like what have you been doing today? Your brain would be looking for those exact sounds. That is why it is so important to keep listening to native English speakers. You can do this in person if you are fortunate enough to live in an English-speaking country, you can also do this by watching YouTube videos, especially vlogs. You will see in vlogs the way that people would speak in their natural environment. Let's look at another example of shortening word sounds. Do you want to watch a movie with me? How you would hear this pronounced in everyday life, and most likely in movies, would be Do you wanna watch a movie with me? Do you wanna watch a movie with me? Do you wanna watch a movie with me? Can you see how the want to becomes wanna? This is actually very common and you will hear it all the time. I don't want to visit your aunt. I don't want to visit your aunt. I don't wanna visit your aunt. I don't wanna visit your aunt. I don't wanna visit your aunt. Another example. How about we go swimming? How about we go swimming? What we would say is, how about we go swimming? How about we go swimming? How about we go swimming? Notice that the sounds don't always shorten at the end of the words, but also at the beginning of words, such as in the previous example. How about we go swimming today? Another reason that may make it difficult for you to understand spoken English in movies is because there is always added background noise, music, or sound effects that you are not used to hearing in typical situations. Some movies are action-packed, others are very dramatic. Each movie will have certain sounds that may make it harder for you to understand. The director of the movie may not have the vocals of the actors loud enough 
and their voices may be drowned out by other noises. Another reason for not being able to understand movies in English would be that oftentimes actors mumble or whisper. They can also speak very fast or be very emotional when speaking while acting. Depending on the movie, there may also be a lot of slang or jargon that you would not typically hear in everyday life. Unless you are exposed to people or environments where this type of language is being used, it may be very difficult to understand it. You also have to remember that a movie is not in real time and you are not present. The speaker is not able to decipher your facial expressions and see if you are confused and are not understanding what they are saying. In real life, they would read your facial expressions and know that you are confused and slow down their speech. This won't happen in a movie. You are also unable to ask for clarification of what is being said in a movie. You can't see the actor's lips and you may not realize that you actually rely on some lip reading of the speaker when you are having a conversation in English. The movie may also have unfamiliar subject matter that you may have never learned in English. For example, if the movie is about a doctor who works in a hospital and they are using a lot of medical terminology, this may create a challenge if you have never experienced a situation where these words were used or have never studied medical English. There also may be idioms or puns used in the movie that are obviously not directly translatable from one language to the other. Trying to translate things literally could really throw you off and could create even more confusion. If a person knows that you are learning English, they will probably avoid using this kind of language when speaking to you. This will make it much more difficult when it appears in a movie because you have never been exposed to it. Remember, it is not only you that is having trouble understanding the English in movies. Many first language English speakers even find it difficult to understand all of the lines in movies. Don't frustrate yourself. It will come little by little. A great way of practicing would be to first watch the movie with the subtitles on. This will help you to make sure you understand the context of the movie. Then you can watch the movie a second time with the subtitles turned off. This will be a much better way of practicing and will eliminate a lot of the frustrations. I hope that this video has helped you understand some of the reasons why watching a movie in English may be frustrating or difficult. Don't give up. Just keep trying and you'll get there. Another recommendation for improving your English listening skills and also your English speaking skills is by learning all 12 verb tenses in English, like the poster that I have here. In this poster that we've designed, we will display the past, present, and future of the simple tense, the continuous tense, the perfect tense, and the perfect continuous tense. Having a poster like this up in your room or having a coffee mug like this with you every day while you drink coffee will help you to study the English grammar and how it is written. Take this to work with you or keep it around the house and continue studying and making up other sentences yourself so that you are able to be fully proficient in English. This is the key. If you really want to learn English, study these 12 tenses and you will be successful. Okay guys, we'll see you next time and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click on the little bell below to get um, notifications when we upload new videos. 
Cheers.